I'm not a construction worker. I'm just a DIY guy at home. And so, you know, sometimes, you know, the wife will say, hey, you know, that doesn't make any sense. But um, this particular tool was on sale and I actually um, feel like I got a pretty good deal on it um, with $300 off. And so I jumped on it. And one of the big reasons why I got it, obviously I like, you know, the idea of the tool. It actually comes with two 12 amp hour batteries. So with a couple other tools that I have then, um, I've just added to my shop. This gives me battery power to be able to use that. All right, so let's see what we got here. This is what we got. The Milwaukee M18. nine inch cutoff saw with one key model number 2786 22hd comes with uh, two high output 12 amp hour batteries the saw um, a rapid charger a diamond blade and also an abrasive blade let's open this puppy up and see what's going on here all right on this side you see we have two blades We've got the abrasive wheel here. And it's like a diamond blade. So we've got one of the 12 amp hour batteries and I assume this is the other one. We've got, so I've got another rapid charger, a M12 charging port and the M18 charging port. So now I have this along with the sequential six bay charger looks like here we have the actual um, water fast uh, connector to be able to uh, connect your hose uh, for concrete cutting so this is the saw it weighs about the same amount as that nail gun i believe it's around 10 pounds without the battery you've got the battery cage here. Um, my understanding about this is um, there are some issues potentially with the overheating of the battery um, because you know it's also it's in an enclosed case to kind of protect it from any kind of um, you know debris that you may be cutting. So anyway, so it looks like there's a little bit of a rubber uh, gasket in here to protect uh, to kind of seal this off from any water. You've got your arbor nut here to place your blade or remove your blade. This particular saw has a Allen wrench here, which you'll actually put in, I believe it goes in here to actually lock the spindle so that you can um, take off this nut and change your blades. So it's got safety trigger here flip this up and squeeze um, you've got your wrench on the back let me, let me just try that to see how it works out so that sticks in there this goes here yeah okay so yeah you have to just kind of turn it a bit and it, it slides in and locks that all right so I get that let's get this batteries open here one battery and this is the second battery so we're gonna pop this on top it's already loose so I don't have to do too much pull out the nut there and then I'm imagining you put one side down Tighten, obviously put one on this side here, and then 
over here on the other side. Let me stick this in. Like this. Yeah, there you go. And you see it just kind of snapped in. And then once it snaps in, you can tighten it down. So it's like this. So snap in and tighten. And now it's locked in there. Pretty good. We've got four bars there. We have our diamond blade and it's going to go, let's see. So we knocked out the cutout here. And then we're going to remove the battery. So that's the Milwaukee M18 cutoff saw.